Hello and welcome to this design and technology lesson. In this lesson we're going to be drawing some 3D shapes. So we can see the 3D shapes we're going to draw here. We're going to draw a sphere, a cube, a cylinder, a cone and a pyramid. And we're going to try and shade them to make them look as 3D as possible. For this lesson you will need a piece of A4 paper. This is cartridge paper but you can use just normal printer paper will be fine. You will need a pencil, a pencil sharpener and a rubber, a ruler and you might like to use a fine liner as well. I'm going to use a fine liner because it shows up better. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plan out our five shapes and we're going to draw them on this sheet here. So if we start off the pencil and we're going to draw the shapes lightly with a pencil. Now if like me you make a little bit of a mistake if you've drawn it lightly you can just so you can see there that I've drawn it lightly I made a slight mistake and I've been able to rub it out. For this line we start with a vertical here we draw the other vertical there and there's our cube the other ones I'm going to draw with a fine liner because I think that they're easier to see. Here we start with our ellipse on the top. We come down and we want to copy this curve of the ellipse down to here. So there's our cylinder. Our cone is easy because our cone is a point coming around with an elliptical base and then going back up to the point there. And last of all we have a pyramid which comes down like this. Now you might like to draw these roughly in pencil and instead of using a fine liner I would definitely recommend drawing them lightly in pencil first of all until you've got the shapes that you're happy with and then go over the shape with a either a fine liner or you can go over the shape with a pencil just do what we call lining in where rather than using a light pencil once you're happy with the shape you can just line in the edges of that shape there. So we can see here that we have our five shapes. We have our sphere, our cube, cylinder, cone and pyramid. Now what we're going to do is we're going to label those all the time it is important to keep our pencil sharp. As soon as the pencil gets less sharp we'll find that we start having thicker lines and we're having to press harder and then we're not getting the construction lines, the lighter lines that we need. What I'm doing down here for the, the, the names is I'm just going to add two lines I'm guessing it but you can draw them they need to be two a pair of parallel lines about six seven millimeters apart and with those lines we can start so you can see those lines there so I've drawn those with a ruler under each shape and then I'm just going to draw the names of the shapes in I'm going to do this with a fine liner you can do it with a pencil and I'm going to use block capitals. 
I'm going to make sure that my letters touch the top and bottom of each line and I keep my lettering as neat as possible. You can see that. So I've labelled two of the shapes. Obviously there's the labelling for the rest of the shapes. Now what we need to do is we need to start shading. So we're going to try and shade the shapes to go from what are basically flat 2D shapes to uh, 3D shapes. Now when we do this we need to set, set a point that is our light point. Some people like to draw a little sun or a light bulb up here but we're going to say our light is from this corner of the page here. Therefore the light is shining down. This face is in darkness. This face is, getting, is in, in shade but it's getting reflected light from here and this surface is in full light. Again with a cylinder this surface is in full light this point of the cylinder here is getting quite a lot of reflected light whereas this part of the cylinder here is in full shade. The same applies for the cone and the pyramid. The pyramid is possibly easier because we've just got a face there. Here we've got a graduated shading here that comes round as the cone curves round. And lastly, probably most difficult, is the sphere. So the sphere we're going to shade round in this area we're going to use cross hatching and we're going to put shading here with a lighter area here. Last of all I've added very lightly with a pencil shadows on each of the five shapes to show where the shadow would be cast directly behind where the light shape is. So there's our finished shape. I'm just going to start. Starting on the cube is quite easy. The best method here is to use the side of the pencil and to use a cross hatching method where, and as we come up and bring the point of the pencil more to bear, we can get darker and darker. Obviously for this shape here we just need any mass or anything where you've gone over the edge you can add. Next I'm going to do the cylinder. The cylinder is more tricky because we have a graduated shade. Now to complete the graduated shade the best way is to start off with the pencil flat and then if you bring the pencil up to more like 45 degrees you can target more of an area where you'd like to get the shading. There's a slight there, shadow there but more of a shadow this side down in this corner. Again using the ruler, oh sorry the rubber just to clean that up. So there's the cylinder. I'm going to leave those two and I'm just going to have a go with the sphere. The sphere is probably the most tricky the sphere we've got, if the light's coming on this side, we've got shading around this side. Using a cross hatching is best. I'm 
obviously there's a little bit of shadow down at this point here. And you'll find with these that you can keep working with them. We can add the shadow there. So there we have, I've also on this sheet named a sphere, pyramid, cone, cylinder and cube. I put my name and I've used the drawing the 3D shapes. I've done the same technique as drawing the two lines. So I've, I've put a title on it. I've finished the five shapes with shading and shadow and I've just gone around the edges with a fine liner. So that is for you to complete now the drawing 3D shapes.